Evie is in LA right now. We're going to cross live to her. Evie, fantastic night last night. An amazing achievement for the Kiwis. What was it like being in the thick of it, my friend? <laughs> It was unbelievable. I mean, I've got to say, the people at my party, at the One Ring .net party, were probably a lot more normal size if you get my drift than they were at the Academy Awards uh, ceremony. But my word, I mean, it was actually quite freaky being there because you can't get the truth. They are a bunch of fantasy geeks, really. I mean, <laughs> that's what they're there for. That's what they do best. And um, you know, then they were thanking Peter Jackson for making fantasy cool. Were you surprised after the last two Academy Awards? Um, oh, I mean, I was surprised. I, I, I would have never thought that we would have won all, all 11. I mean, I was, I was hoping to win some, but if I was a betting man, I would have never bet for all 11. I would have lost money. Of course, the tsunami came. Spielberg stood up and just announced clean sweep, and it was just, it was bigger than a soccer match. It's a clean sweep. <laughs> Okay, look, there has been, in, in some reports, Evie, around the world, perhaps a little bit of dissension towards New Zealand and a bit of mocking. Uh, how are the states reacting to New Zealand's haul at the Oscars? Oh, mate, they're calling it the Horde of the Rings and a boring hoard at that because, I mean, you know, Michael Douglas said immediately afterwards, well, it gets a bit boring when it's so predictable, but it was well-deserved, and that was kind of the feeling. Look, you've sent back some wonderful pictures of the cast members of Lord of the Rings uh, doing some musical numbers, having a bit of fun. Uh, did you catch up with any of them and how are they feeling after Peter Jackson's amazing triumphant day? Well, actually, they seemed quite exhausted by the time they come to the One Ring party. I mean, they're there, they know that these are the diehard bands. It was really lovely of them. They came straight to, the, to that party, straight from the Academy Awards. They had a whole host, as Richard Taylor says. They had a whole host of other parties to go to, and they went straight to that one. Um, and they just seemed really relaxed and finally, I guess, jubilant and justified. Overall, Evie, what was your impression of the Oscars? Just opportunity after opportunity, a major networking, you know, experience for all of the stars, etc. I mean, I kind of felt like it was just another year at the academies, in, in a way, um, for all of the glitz and glam, and I think that... Um, I think New Zealanders, more than anyone else, would have enjoyed it. But long may we bask in our own glory and the glory of the Lord of the Rings, Peter Jackson. Yes, certainly. Let's lap it up. And if you're wondering how Evie got to the One Rings party, take a look at this. This is her mode of transport. It's a Hummer stretch limousine. There it is. Look at it. It's huge, isn't it? Now, she caught the ride with Bruce Hopkins, who played Gambling, and Lawrence Makaori, who played Gothmog from Lord of the Rings Return of the King. Not a bad ride, eh? Come